Hi everybody, today I'm going to be explaining to you what a relative clause is using some examples and we're going to be having a look at using some parentheses in those examples as well. A relative clause is part of a sentence that adds more information to the main sentence. They usually use one of these six words, who, that, which, whose, where or when. So let's have a look at a very basic sentence without a relative clause. I might go to Tesco tonight. That was my basic sentence. I might go to Tesco's tonight. But if I wanted to add some information, I, for example, might want to put the time or I might want to put where the Tesco's is, then I could do that using a relative clause. I might go when there is time to Tesco tonight. That extra bit of information that I've added in there is the relative clause because it's not necessary. It gives me more detail to my main sentence. Here's another sentence. My friend is stuck in London. Now let's rewrite it with a relative clause in it. My friend that, my friend's which, my friend who's, my friend where, my friend, I like the who one, my friend who is always nice to me is stuck in London. This extra part, this relative clause that we've got, is also called a parenthesis. I can set up my parenthesis with commas like I have done, or I could use a dash. My friend, who is always nice to me, is stuck in London. Or I could add brackets. My friend, who is always nice to me, is stuck in London. It does feel like it's a, by the way, here's some extra information comment, which, ex which is exactly what it's supposed to be. One more final example. Mr. Barnett was loving the weather. Mr. Barnett, who usually liked to stay indoors, was loving the weather. Mr. Barnett, which doesn't quite work. Mr. Barnett, who's not quite sure. Mr. Barnett, where doesn't quite work. Mr. Barnett, when he was working, was loving the weather. So I could have who or when, and either of those would work. Let's try one. I think I preferred the when. I'm going to use the dash this time. Mr. Barnett, when working outside, was loving the weather. Another top tip that I can give you to help you write your own relative clauses is to have these words ready so that when it's time to write the information, you can think of a phrase that includes one of those words. Have a good week.